Hello. Hello. We are Loops and Lap Bars and we are here today at a surprise park. Yes, this um, is Dewin Rel. Yeah. At least I think that's how you say it. Uh, we were intending to have a day off today, but we have, well, I, I personally have got a little bit bored on the day off, days off. Just sat around essentially not doing an awful lot because of the places that we're going. There's not that much that interests us in, uh, to some to some extent. Anyway, um, and we completely missed this one on the uh, you know the the, the itinerary. Trips. Yeah. yeah. So we thought we'd pop in and, and see, and it looks pretty decent. You know, we've had a little bit of a wander around, uh, got ourselves a little cup of tea, three euros each, um, and uh, yeah, there's you know there's a one-two punch of decent ghost flowers to look at. Um, it looks like they've got a super splash with covered and uncovered boats. Boats, yeah. Um, so that means that you can enjoy it whether the weather's crap or not. Um, Ghost Flower Sky fly as well as a big arcade and things like that. Um, and an excellent looking water park, but we're not going to be able to do the water park, That's unfortunately. Right, yeah. We are doing Bella Wide Days tomorrow though, so yes. uh, we can at least compare what they look like. Um, so yeah, we'll um, have our cups of tea and then we'll go and ride some rides and, uh, and uh, you'll see what we get on with. Yep. So we, um, as we say, we had a, a bit of a wander around um, yeah. decided that we were going to go on Dragonfly first. Despite the fact that Falcon's right there, we went for Dragonfly, yep. uh, which is a nice little Gerslauer family coaster. Yeah, proper nice little coaster. It's lovely themed. Um, dead smooth as well. Uh, like, ridiculous how smooth that coaster you is. Know, you you kind of expect that with <laughs> uh, with Gerslauer yeah. family coasters, though. Uh, I don't think we've been on a bad one. We've got another one to do with yeah. um, uh, Bella Wade, you know, spoilers for you know, the upcoming ones. But... Uh, yeah, I've, you know, Peg Express and all the others have all been wonderful, so yeah. I expected that to be wonderful. I do wish it was a little bit faster in places, um, in that the hills weren't so tall, so that the roller coaster could coast a bit faster. But other than that, really not much to complain about. No. It's, as I say, nice themed in the station, it gives you facts and things like that about dragonflies. Nice. Yeah. Um, and I've only just realised as well that it's called Dragonfly because the park's mascot is a frog, so the frog yeah. eats dragonflies. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Um, anyway, so that's that one, and then we've got Falcon. Obviously, straight off that one, onto Falcon. Second Gerslauer coaster, which is a uh, uh, Eurofighter 320 plus. It's exactly the same as Rage Adventure Island. If you've done that one, um, probably the same sort of smoothness as well. Yeah, um, smooth coaster, a little bit jerky, but not to the extent that you're going to get off it with concussion. Yeah. Um, we didn't get any head knocks, even though it was a bit jerky. <laughs> Um, <laughs> yeah, um, no head knocking at all. It's a compact little layout is, is, is that one, exactly the same as Rage. So it can take the elements with a bit of gusto, but it's not uncomfortable at all. It's got a nice photo on it as well, which takes a photo yeah. of the whole train. I'll put it up here. Um, yeah, it's a guess our Eurofighter. They're always good fun. Some of them can be in a bit of a menace, but this one, absolutely fine. So that's Dragonfly and Falcon. Not getting wet today. Come. The covered boat was a lie. It was. <laughs> It was uh, entirely a lie. It saved a lot of the wet, but it meant that because the boat has got hinges and yeah. joints, the joints aren't covered, so yeah. all the water that came through there, it was just funneled into a perfect thing. So I was in the center of the boat, as you'll see from the little video that I did. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I just got thoroughly soaked anyway. <laughs> yeah, and because the seals down the side of the boat aren't uh, good either. <coughs> water comes in from the sides. Water comes in from the sides. And yeah, my bum's rather wet at the moment. Yeah, <laughs> but still, uh, you know, a good little uh, little investment is that one. Um, yeah, yeah it's... and something on the unique side for the uncovered boats, as you'll see going up here, 
they've actually got covers on them so you get in you put your bar down put these over so it's actually so on your heads out the majority of you is still covered you still get wet but not as wet yeah and so then you've got the option not to wear them if you don't want to yeah so you've got so many different options with this if the, <coughs> if the covered boats really did you know completely cover you then you'd mean that you'd be completely dry you've got semi-wet and then you've got fully wet if you really want to i think that's a really really good way of doing it um so yeah that's super splash Again, uh, this time to talk about Kikarakban, which is a frog roller coaster. Um, it's a uh, Zier Tivoli large, it's the same as treetops, yeah. it's the same as quite a few other roller coasters. It's very dull, you know, and a bit rattly, <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, it's one of those, you know, uh, sort of Genesis old coasters, uh, all of them have been around you know, since forever. Um, nice themed uh, train, and the train was yeah. uh, sort of uh, well looked after. Uh, but there wasn't really much in the way of theming or anything no. like that. Um, yeah, so it's it's like all the others. All right, but kind of a little bit forgettable. Yeah. Um, and then uh, we had uh, a portion of poffertis, yes. uh, which are Dutch mini pancakes, aren't they? Yes, very, very tasty they were indeed. Um, absolutely covered in ice and sugar and bananas and cream and wonderful. Yeah, 11 euros 50 for those. Um, so they are quite pricey, I suppose. Yeah. Um, but the you know, portion size was decent, and it does look like it's they're cooked on a uh, like a sort of traditional riddle. Uh, griddle kind of thing. Think like Yorkshire pudding tins, only you know they can cook something stupid like um, sixty um, pancakes at the same time. Yeah, you know, I thought that was quite interesting to see. Yeah. Um, so yeah, now I think now we're going to see if we can do the uh, the bobsled. I don't know if it's open or running or, or whatnot, but if it is, great. If not, yeah. then we'll go find something else. Yes. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yep. there you go. Hello. Hello again. Um, just got off Rodel Barn, which is uh, toboggan run, uh, and it is quite a toboggan a run. One. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it's it's quite a long one. The lift hill is insane. Yeah. Uh, it seems to go on forever, um, but other than that, unremarkable. It's just a lift hill. And then, yep. yeah, it's a good series of sweeps left and right. Um, no need to break pretty much at all the whole way down. Yep. Really comfortable, but I did find it was a bit awkward because you're hunched over uh, quite a lot of the time. Uh, what about yourself? Um, no, I, I didn't find as much, but then again, I am shorter, so, yeah. like, for me, it was comfortable. And like Dave says, there was only one corner that I had to break slightly for. Um, and that was a right turn. Other than that, everything else was full tilt down the hill, and I was just like, "Come on, go faster!" <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. It, it, it could have done with going a bit quicker, to be honest, because it did feel like a leisurely sort of breeze. By the time yeah. you got, you think, "Oh, picking up some speed," you're into the uh, into the station, which is a bit of a shame. Uh, yeah. But yeah, still worth uh, you know worth queuing for. Uh, I mean, we, I think we queued something like. What? 10 15 minutes, yeah. didn't we? Yeah. Um, it's not too bad because they do have a series of, uh, you know, there's not just one or two toboggans, there's a lot. Um, so, yeah, so that was that was toboggan run. And then we had some dinner, which, what did we have? What were they called? Cap salon. Cap salons, which um, I've read up and it sounds like it's a Turkish dish that was in, essentially invented in the Netherlands, but we know it in Britain as Donner meat and chips. chips. Yeah. <laughs> Um, it wasn't necessarily doner meat, we had chicken doner meat um, and it was very very tasty. Yeah, it was layered on top of the chips with the salad on top of that and then you add your own sauce. Yeah, so just put some garlic sauce on the top, yes. um, absolutely delicious, much better than I've ever had a uh, takeaway myself. Yeah. Um, yeah, really really pleasant. That was, including the drink, 11 euros 90 wasn't it? Yes. Um, so not unreasonably expensive but I, mean, I think these things are quite expensive, these are 3 90 uh, which uh, equates to something like around the uh, the three pounds, uh, three pound, three pound twenty mark. Um, so it's not great <laughs> uh, value for money with the drinks, um, but that's uh, that's that's about the only thing I could complain about with, yeah. uh, with, with in terms of the food so far. Uh, next, I think we've uh, we've got the uh, the Skyfly to do, um, and we've got a couple of the little attractions as well still to uh, to do before the day's out. Yep. Hopefully, the uh, the school trips will start you know uh, disappearing towards the end of the day, so we can get some re rides on the roller coasters and such. But yep. other than that, all good. That's us for now. It is.
A giant slide. <laughs> Good bit of fun that. The ramp up, not so much. Yes. But... <laughs> That's because we're unfit fatties. Um, but yeah, self service, grab yourself a sack, run to the top, slide down, have a great time. time. Yep. Simple as that. <laughs> Hang on. Go. some more updates yep. um, so since last uh, we uh, we talked to you we had a go on wild wings uh, which is a Gerstlauer sky fly um, once again like all the others in Europe it keeps track of the amount of times that you've spun on it uh, which is really really interesting yep. um, I made 36 spins this time which is a new record for me higher than 17 last time I got on the uh, the daily leaderboard as well weren't quite as good as the guy uh, in front of me who was uh, as you'll see from the video who was proper going hell for leather uh, you managed 69 where I only managed 35, but hey ho, it's great fun. I maintain my average of zero, yes. ah, so I'm uh, all good. <laughs> um, and then um, hopefully it's going to uh, uh, pop around just as we're talking about it, but we uh, we did a back row on Dragonfly, which is just about to pop. There. Um, and it's a whole different beast on the back to what it was from the front. Front, yeah. Front's really, really nice and gentle and, yeah, smooth. And the back, oh my word, the whip is insane. Yeah. But it's, it's fun. It's much whippier on the back. Um, I felt like it was a bit more bit more rattly on the back uh, than what it was on the front. Um, but it weren't un, you know, uh, unreasonable or anything like that. I was just like, yeah. Um, yeah, but yeah, it's much better on the back, I think. Um, still think it could do with being slightly, slightly quicker. Uh, and then over to me to talk about... I think it's called Water Spider, but it does say Water Spin on the bottom of it. It's a... Uh, a Huss topspin, and it's an ideal introduction to topspins for essentially the younger generation because it doesn't run an intense cycle. It very rarely inverts, and when it does, you're not over for very long. It does hold you at the top for a little bit, but I found it was quite pleasant. It was uh, it was quite comfortable as well because, as you know, being taller, I could put my feet on the uh, on the floor in front of me and brace myself against the uh, the ride restraint, so I wasn't being chucked up and down. The problem I had with Wallaby uh, Holland's one um, the other day was that my shoulders kept um, you know, um, holding on to the restraints above, which wasn't pleasant because I've got bony shoulders. Um, but yeah, that one was all right. So that's definitely worth a, uh, a ride for the younger generation. Gets them into uh, into Talacan and things like that. So they, you know, work up towards that. I um, think next we're going to have a go on the Dodgems and start working our way towards the uh, the exit of the park. Because yeah. um, there's a couple of things uh, around the, the exit that we've still got to do. So we'll go do those and uh, report back when we're done. So we're just on the ferris wheel and while we're uh, stopping and waiting for him to uh, load and unload people because we've got a couple of cycles round we thought we'd talk about merchandise um, so yeah. merchandise is, 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 is park specific there doesn't seem to be anything you know like falcon or dragonfly yeah. related it's all just for a uh, 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 doing rel um, but it's a lot, lot more extensive than i thought it was going to be yeah they've got the standard stuff that you get in family parks like sweets and the essentially tat that we don't like um, but they've got a lot of key rings in there magnets postcards they've even got an umbrella i've picked one of them up today um, they've got different types of pens they've got pencils Baseball, uh, rumors, jackets, baseball and all sorts, jackets, yeah, yeah hoodies. Yeah, it very much reminds me of you know when you went to a museum as a kid. You always used to pick up like you know uh, uh, pocket money stuff. Yeah. Uh, and they've got that, but they've also got you know stuff for you know, adults and things like that to buy. So yeah, the merchandise was better than I expected. Um, it would be nice to have some things ride specific, yeah. but with it being a family-owned park. 
yeah, you know, I'm quite happy with the, the merchandise that we saw. So that's yep. merchandise. not in the car, car. <laughs> we've managed to make it um, yeah we've talked about absolutely everything that we needed to talk about um, before uh, last we left you we did go on the bumper cars actually so we went on yeah. the bumper cars and they were brutal yeah. in a they good were way quite fun um, they were quite slidey which was good and it was more bump less car to be yeah um, there's a lot of cars on the uh, on, on the course uh, which made it really really good fun um, and yeah they, they, they hit each other with some Bloody Got force, so, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, bumper cars. We then had another go on the, uh, the toboggan run. And did um, the other side this time. Yeah, did because the, there's two tracks. Did the other side. Um, same as before. Yeah. Uh, so it kind of just leaves us with uh, you know final remarks and things like that of uh, jury nil. Um, so <laughs> just getting through the car park without getting run over. <laughs> um, yeah, it's a, it's a very good park. Um, for everybody, because much like uh, Dreamleet and Slakharan, there's every you know, there's plenty of things for young kids as well as the older kids as well, um, and you know, thrill seekers. They could um, be a bit more for thrill seekers. They could be, but also it's part of a resort as well, and it's got a campsite here, so you can camp, glamp, and you can book chalets out as well. Yeah. Um, so if you want to come for a good two or three days and do the park, you can easily do that. Yeah. Um, it's it's definitely worthwhile, and I mean we only paid twenty four euros um, you know, per person. So the only thing I would say has been kind of a bit of a oh, rip off's not the word, but expensive. This parking because it's fifteen euros um, per car. Obviously, if you split it between people, that's not so bad. Um, but yeah, twenty four euros to get in and just do what we did. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely no complaints with that. Yeah. Um, decent water rides, decent coasters. Um, you know, their uh, um, yeah. flat rides Food are alright. Friends was nice, and it's well themed as well. And it doesn't necessarily look like a theme park because it's in a, a massively wooded sort of common ground area. It's really, really pretty as well. Yeah, it's um, <coughs> it, what is it? I mentioned earlier on. It kind of makes me feel like we're at an American camp yeah. um, at times. <laughs> um, you, if you've seen them in the films and stuff like that, that's what it kind of feels like. But it also does feel a little bit like a, almost like a haven site or a butlings yeah. if you've done one of those in the uk um and we did find there's a lot of a lot of brits here as well um you know on, on holiday so obviously a lot of people come over here we just popped in for the day um but uh, yeah um uh, that's uh, uh, i've got the name of the park again <laughs> I keep, yeah i keep yeah uh, during l uh yeah what no sorry doing Doing rel, it's doing really rel. awkward to pa to pronounce. Now it's this name. Yeah, do it doing rel. Um, so I do apologise for for that little uh, segment, but uh, yeah, that's doing rel. Um, now we will be at Bellawade uh, for the next one of these, even though yes. we said we were on the last one. This one was an impromptu visit, so we will see you after Bellawade. We will. Bye. Bye.